Now that we've installed our two databases, Northwind and Pubs, we need to add users to them so that we can actually access the uh, databases through our code in ASP.NET. And notice we have two security tabs within within the system. We have the lower level ones at the database level, like in the Northwind security. And when we go there, we open the users and we don't see anything that's really something that we've created. So what we need to do first at, at the higher level is create a new login for the overall database management system, SQL Server. So I'm going to go into Logins, create a new login, and then I'm going to create the student 2013. And I want to make sure this is SQL Server authentication. And I'll put in the password of capital P at SSW0RD, P at SSWORD. I'm going to take off password enforcement. And of course, this would make a DBA cringe if this were a production system, but it's not. So we'll just keep pressing on. Once I've got this student 2013 account created, the login created, I'm going to add a new user to my database security tab. And again, this is our student 2013, student 2013. Notice I could give it a different username at this point for this database, but I'm just going to leave it the same. So click OK, and notice I've got my student 2013. I need to now figure out what this person, what this user needs to have. And I could have done this in the first step. I'm going to, since we're in the Northwind database, I'm just going to give this person a DBA, DB, data reader and data writer um, user privilege, and also give them DB, data writer, data reader, and writer in the membership fields. So I click OK, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing in my pubs directory. New user, student, whoops. And again, these are the same, um, same uh, credentials that we're using on the student server. That way you can transfer your code directly over uh, to the student server and it should connect to the database on the system. So I click OK and that's all there is to adding a new user to our database. This will make us it very easy for us to transfer the code from our local system to our remote student server. This has been Mike Shore from the Web Technologies Department, and now you should be ready to go and create your ASP.NET database-driven web pages.